Hey everybody, Maria here with the Scranton Col at the Scranton Cultural Center, and so thrilled to be here tonight, especially being as though winter kind of got the best of us uh, the rest of the month, so we're very thrilled to be here tonight. Nothing was stopping us for this one. Uh, we've got an awesome group in the house. Um, you all know them, Robert Tellefson and friends. Uh, we're going to get to that in just a moment. First off, I just want to uh, bring to your attention that this program is partially funded by the Overlake Estate Foundation. We're very thrilled to have that kind of support. If you too are inclined to support this kind of programming, we would so appreciate that. No amount is too small, no amount is too large. You'll see some information scrolling across the bottom of the screen and that'll tell you what to do. So, thrilled to be here tonight with Robert Tellefson who's going to uh, give us uh, a mix of different songs but mostly a Richie Havens tribute and we're just keeping in celebration of black history and the music from Black History Month. Um, so we're thrilled to have them in the, in the house today and uh, I see that Randy Light has joined us. We weren't, I wasn't expecting him, I didn't know. Um, so we're going to get a lot of stories from Bob, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of songs. And we're going to turn it over to Robert Tellefson Music. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maria. It's uh, really a pleasure to be here. Um, this is really a great uh, thing that they're doing here. And like I said, uh, like Maria said, if you could contribute something, that would be great. We're going to play our hearts out here, and then uh, hopefully we'll draw out some of you people. Little darling, it's been a long, long, lonely winter. Little darling, it's been a year since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, I say. It's all right. It's all right It's all right with me Little darling Ice is surely melting Little darling It's been a year Since it's been here Here comes the sun Here comes the sun I say It's all right It's all right it's all right with me Thank you. 
little darling The smiles have returned to their faces Little darling It's been a year since it's been here Here comes the sun Here comes the sun I say It's all right It's all right It's all right with me History Month, but uh, I met Richie back, I don't want to date myself, but back in the 80s, the late 70s, um, I was uh, working, actually working at a, a bar in New York City, and uh, his lead guitarist uh, couldn't play, so a friend of mine knew I played guitar, so he asked me to start playing uh, with Richie, and, uh, you know, sure, <laughs> but I said, oh, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll see what I can do, but, oh, absolutely. So we went upstairs, and, I, and uh, I explained to Richie, I said, you know, I'm having trouble with my hand with the uh, carpal tunnel. And uh, he, he informed me, he said, well, let me show you what, uh, how I play. And uh, he showed me uh, the tuning in D tuning, and uh, I could play with my thumb. So um, that's what started me with Richie, and uh, here we are today. <laughs> And it was, honestly, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be playing at all. I'm gonna bring you back to Woodstock. I don't know how many out in the audience have been there, but I was there. Don't remember a lot about it. Brown and the sky is gray.
had a year Said the joker to the thief No reason to get excited I can't get no release Businessmen, they drink my wine Smoke my herb None of them know the time Or what it is worth But a joke. There are those among us who feel life is but a joke. All along the watchtower, all along the watchtower. Princess kept a few All the riders they came and went Took the servants too We out in the distance The low cloud culture We out in the distance And we began to
people know that uh, actually the reason Richie got to uh, New York City was uh, his uh, grandfather used to uh, be on the uh, the West Show, Wild West Show, with uh, Wild Bill Hickok and, and those people. And when they uh, did a show in New York City, he jumped ship and uh, he stayed in New York. And then his family grew up in uh, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. And uh, he had like, I've got to say, eight or nine siblings. Um, but that's where he started. And uh, where he ended up playing music was he would go into uh, New York City, into the village. And when he first got there, uh, he was walking around and he saw somebody drawing face, you know, face pictures on the copper. I don't know if anybody's ever seen that, but they put the little dots on the copper plate and it's, uh, you know, they do uh, different, different people's uh, faces. So he started doing that and he actually was pretty good at that. As he was doing that, um, he listened across the street to uh, uh, some of the cafes and, and coffee clubs in, in uh, Greenwich Village that were uh, playing music. Uh, Dylan would be playing or, or you know, a lot of different people would be playing. And he said, you know what, I, I'd like to do that myself. So he went home and he uh, picked up a guitar and he started playing it. He really didn't know how to play, but uh, he started playing the way he did with his thumb. And uh, his first gig was, uh, I'm trying to remember now. Cafe Wa. Uh, where was it? Cafe Wa. Cafe Wa, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It was the Cafe Wa. And uh, from there, he blossomed into you know, what it was uh, you know, several years later. Ended up playing at Woodstock and uh, became pretty famous. But anyway, um, he taught me uh, actually how to play this way.
outside of Monticello and uh, as they were flying over this uh, site he could see hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people obviously they were all a little nervous and uh, so he was asked if he could play first so he, he played for you know he did a whole set Richie never really had a uh, set list but you know he had a bunch of songs he did those songs and he was getting off the stage and they said oh could you please go back and play a couple more songs because nobody else has showed up yet. So he went back. Well, this went on for about two hours. And uh, by the very end, uh, I'll play this song later. He, he did this song, uh, Freedom, which he made up on the spot. And we'll uh, close out the evening with that song.
all your life And we'll always be the closest moment to be free We'll always be the closest moment to be about a, a black young girl who was suffering in England and they wrote this song actually about her. Hmm. Just to add that. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Always a new story with, with Bob. <laughs> so for those of you that are just tuning in, um, hopefully you've tuned in from the beginning because um, we've got some incredible music happening here. Um, Maria, once again, at the Scranton Cultural Center, we're downstairs in the Raymond Hood Room, where Underground Microphone usually takes place, always takes place. We can't wait to open up the doors again and have a live audience in this room. Mm -hmm. Robert, yeah, the whole gang remembers that, right, yes. last year? Um, so soon, we hope to do that soon. Um, quick reminder, uh, this program is partially funded by the Overlook Estate Foundation, and um, you'll see some information scrolling on the screen or maybe in your feed um, that donations will be accepted if you're so inclined. We'd so appreciate your support for programming like this. We want to keep the music going, keep the music alive. And we're not going to take any longer here because we've got four amazing musicians in this room and we're going to toss it right on back to Robert Tellefson Music, in tribute to Richie Havens. I'd like to uh, 
take a minute now and introduce, uh, introduce, <laughs> introduce <laughs> Mr. Uh, Chip Pirelli on the uh, bass, Mr. Randy Light on the lead guitar, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Kenneth Christensen on the uh, congas, and uh, myself. Um, yeah, uh, Randy, you got anything you want to add? Uh, like a story from uh, uh, way back when? From the way back machine? From the way back machine. <laughs> Um, no, but I just want to express my uh, gratitude for Maria for having this project going on. We've come down a couple times to play in uh, different musical situations, and um, you know, it's just it's just great. Now through the pandemic, we've kind of carried on, and and you've got this great thing happening. Bob Tellison is just a man with a golden heart, and uh, anybody that knows him can testify to that. And uh, I just feel privileged to be able to play music with, with all of these wonderful people. It's just a gift. And uh, I want to say hello to my wife out there, if you happen to be looking, Rose. And, um, you know, just uh, thank you. Let's uh, carry on. <laughs> all right, Randy. Woo! This is one of the songs that Richie did on the uh, Woodstock. It's called uh, Handsome Johnny. I've never really played this much together, so we're going to muffle through a little bit.
singing this song. Some of you are not even listening. Tell me what it is we've got to do with all the bullets to start whistling.
to Richie Havens. Um, I want to uh, send out a thank you to Stormy Productions for the for letting us borrow that photo for the promo for our little grassroots room here. Um, that was a treat. And uh, if you're just tuning in, hopefully you'll uh, tune in again later and hear how good this music sounded tonight. Uh, once again, it's Maria at the Scranton Cultural Center. This is underground microphone as we know it now. Uh, we're looking forward to the day that we get to open up the doors and have you all down in this space again. Uh, let's give it up one more time for Robert Tellefson Music. Woo! And uh, Mr. you got Mr. Chip Ferrelli, Mr. Uh, Randy Light, Mr. Kenny Christensen. Yeah, inter intro everyone. Randy Light's in the house. <laughs> Robert, yeah. Robert Tellefson. Yeah, Robert Tellefson. Robert Tellefson. Yeah, very... We're going to close out the night with one last Richie song. You have a few minutes. Oh, so. okay, we yeah. have a few minutes. Yeah, right. we do, well, yeah. ten minutes. All right, one more time. Robert Tellefson Music. I've been uh, privileged to be able to play with Bob for the past couple years. I think we've been uh, doing some tunes together, and we got to play over in New York City, and I got to ride over and spend the day, you know, in the car with him, and he's telling me all of his stories from hanging out in the village and, you know, telling me about Bob Dylan and, and uh, you know, meeting him and, 
and uh, so this this is a this is a real deal right here. This guy here. Um, what was that like? Five dollars. Well, um, the story. What used to happen is uh, we used to all meet in the Washington Square Park in Manhattan. My uh, sister Laurel, I used to stay with her uh, years ago when she first moved down to the city. And uh, you, you would meet people like Jimi Hendrix, uh, Joan Baez, and we'd all be playing in the, in the park. And we'd decide, you know, because back then everybody played for tips. So you would play in all the cafes and also back then there were hundreds of cafes all over the, uh, the village area. And uh, you wouldn't want to play like, say, after Dylan, or you wouldn't want to play uh, after Richie Havens, because all the tips would be gone. So, uh, you know, like I say, we would meet in the park, and then we'd decide, uh, okay, we're going to go play at this place, we're going to go play at this cafe, Cafe Wa, Cafe, you know, there was a whole bunch of them over there, the Vanguard. And uh, Dylan would ask you, um, you know, would you mind playing with me because I have nobody to play today? And if you were there, you, you got to play with uh, Bob. My one story with Bob is uh, we're playing in the park, and uh, Bob walked up to me and uh, said, uh, you know, Bob, you're never going to be a good guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, well, you know what? You're never going to be a good singer. So <laughs> that's where it was. Too uh, take with uh, Bob Dylan. <laughs> But anyway, those were the those were the days. I mean, you could uh, play anybody's song. I mean, it, it was more uh, everybody was together. There was no, you know, uh, Wall Street got involved, and a lot of the people uh, left uh, the village area and became famous. And some of us did a lot of drugs and stuff, and did what we did. And uh, here we you are. Told today. me about going to Andy Warhol's house. And, you yes. Know. Yeah, Andy Warhol. Like I said, it was nothing in those days. I was staying uh, for a while in a place on Long Island, uh, this rich millionaire um, house, and we, we put together, it was a, uh, uh, a place called New York T uh, Technology. We went to school there, and we were sculptors, and uh, we, we took one of the barns on this big plantation, and we changed it over. Well, one day, um, Andy Warhol came to the, <laughs> came to the little, uh, little place we had there, and... Uh, him and uh, this friend of mine were pretty good friends, I didn't realize at the time. And Andy wasn't really that famous at the time, he was just really blossoming. Um, he got in touch with uh, Blondie, I don't know if you remember Blondie, but he did a, a piece on Hit, he did a Campbell's soup can that became very famous. And a friend of mine and him, which I still have the painting, uh, did a painting called War that was, uh, everybody was appalled when he put this out, but it became famous. And we got to go out to his place out and way out in the Hamptons, uh, Long Island. Um, but yeah, like back then, everybody knew everybody. Uh, there was a place called uh, PS1. That was the big art place back then. If you were anybody, you got to uh, you know put your art in there. And it's like I say, it was it was it was great great days. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of those days are gone. And hopefully, we'll get them back. Hey, you got a little taste today. Yes, a little taste. So like I said earlier, uh, Richie ran out of songs during the uh, Woodstock show. So he, he used to always, he used to play with a choir back when he was a kid. So he took a couple of the songs that he played with this choir and he came up with this.
like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Singing freedom, 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 freedom.
because all you people are who you are, and hopefully you're donating something, because you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful. You are so
get what you need. Get what you need. Get what you need. Get what you need. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. Try sometime, you get what you need. You are so beautiful, you are so beautiful, you are. Everybody, thank you so much Thank for inviting us.